Assalamu alaikum and good morning again to all of my students and whoever is watching this video right now. I hope and pray that you're all in good health and enjoying Ramadan and enjoy yourself and enjoy, enjoying the day ahead, which is going, uh, which is passing and we are doing a lot. So right now we are in our science class and today we are learning something very different uh, uh, that is that will not be new to you must you must have seen uh, those um, in pictures or in movies so we are going to discuss about that and that is we are going to talk about rainforests right yes uh, they are called rainforests and why do they, why are they called rainforests? Because um, many uh, of the rainforests, it even drains uh, more than 300 days in a year. Wow, that's amazing, right? So uh, that's why uh, they are called um, rainforests. So um, tropical rainforests are the forests with the, they have a very tall trees. Um, the climate is very warm, like hot, and there, uh, there, there is a lot, a lot of rain. As I told you, that um, it rains even like somewhere more than three hundred days. It, it, it means all the time it's raining, 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 raining. So in some rainforests, it's rained more than one inch uh, nearly every day of the year. More than an inch it rains. And uh, rainforests are found in uh, Africa. Uh, they are in Asia as well, Australia, and uh, um, uh, Central and South America, basically. Uh, because like um, rainforests grow mainly around the middle of the world map. You see, we, we have seen the world map. So rainforests are mainly, they are on the middle of the world map that is called equator that is in the middle of the world. Um, if we uh, have a look at the world, um, we were looking at the ground. If this is the world, right? And, and this is the North Pole, this is the South Pole, and the middle area, this is the area in which the rainforests are, right? And the largest rainforest in the world is Amazon rainforests in South America right so we will be discussing a lot about uh, rainforests i'm going to show you the pictures i'm going to show you the videos and we will see what kind of animals are even in the rainforests okay so the rainforests are mainly in the middle of the world and that is uh, the place we call equator and that place is very warm most of the time it's hotter its temperature is always hot because that equator is a direct, the sunlight reaches over there. And most of the uh, time, I think all of the time that is uh, warmer than the other uh, areas. So uh, that is why uh, the rainforests are over, th over there. And uh, that is why it rains uh, very much over there in the rainforests, right? So um, I am going to show you a picture of the rainforest. Uh, mm, but before that, I'm going to show you a video, All right? So by uh, watching the video, you will be able to see uh, what are these. Uh... Okay, just a minute, I have to look for this. You will have to look for the video, okay? Share, share, share. Where is my video? Hold on. I'll have to look for the yay. I find it. Okay, it's here. Yay. So we are going to watch this video. They're going to tell us all about the rainforest. Okay. Now watch it very carefully. Mommy, mommy, what is this place? It's spooky in the jungle. It's a forest. It's a rainforest. Here in this region, it's mostly raining and it's very humid. So you 
you see a lot of water, small lakes made out of water from the rain. And it's mostly raining around here with thunderings and clouds everywhere. But it's not only rain, it's very green as well. With little lakes, trees and greenery with a lot of different kinds of tropical animals like parrots, monkeys and birds. Yay, that's great. Thank you. See, we got the information about rainforests and they tell us that it's rain all the time and uh, it's covered with thick, uh, tall trees. Why? Because it's raining all the time. So, and it's warm. So that's very good environment for the trees to grow, for the birds to live, uh, for the, um, because they can find water and they can find greenery. So when it's green, the even uh, tree grows, then there are fruits and all that. So uh, even, um, animals can eat the fruits as well. So they have got like very, very tall trees. So if I can just show you the picture like this. So this is a kind of a picture I've made. The rainforests are very thick. There are like so many trees, but I have made this kind of thing. They have got very, very tall trees, right? Like this. And though they have got very tall, tall trees. So um, there are layers of that, right? So there are layers uh, for um, from the ground to the treetops, they are like tall, uh, they're uh, a rainforest, they have different layers. Well, there are all sort of animals and plants, right? So uh, we are going to just discuss uh, today that I'm going to show you that what kind of layers they are and what kind of animals are in the layers, right? So I'm going to show you, um, now let's see this is the picture of the uh, rainforest so we're going to start from the ground see there is grass and there are small small plants so we are just going to start with this so i am just uh, putting this paper over here which is going to show you that what are the animals at the bottom right and then i will show you the picture of this now here there is bottom at the bottom they are like uh animals which crawls or maybe they can be on the ground only on the ground right they cannot even reach on the trees and all so there are three there is a uh, typhus there is a body and there is an anaconda right so i'm just going to share you the picture with uh, of all these three now this you can see yeah, here right now this is here right the yeah over here now this is on the ground this is the rainforest animal this is called um the tapirus, right then we have another animal i'm going to show you which stays on the ground and uh, yes i'm going to show you that as well a very very it's a small animal first of all i'm going to sh show you this is a guati right if you see this, this is a small animal, like a, a, a small a mouse. Oops, what happens? Where did my aquatic gone? No, hold on, hold on. Yes, see? So this is over here, this is on the land. Now this portion is uh, called, this is the ground portion, right? So here are Typhus iguati, and then a very, very scary animal we can uh, find over here. And that is, oh my God, I'm just going to show you. Yay. Oh God, see? This we can find over here, rainforest. This is the best place for the snakes or the anaconda to live. You must have seen the movies as well. So you see, I've just made the, um uh, outlines for this like the anaconda the mouse i showed you and the tapirus right so these are the animals which are on the ground right yes they are mostly on the ground 
And now we will go up to the, uh, the next level. And that is the understory, right? Now, uh, I, I, I was telling you about the forest layer, which we have just seen, uh, on which we have seen the uh, uh, anaconda and all. The forest row is the darkest, and it has got the most humid layer. This is like this base is the most humid layer of the rainforest. So animal and insects, as I told you, like um, pigs and anteaters and um, anacondas, they are on the floor over here, right? Yes, they are on the floor over here. So the next uh, level is uh, forest, uh, which discussed about forest floor, but uh, the, uh, the next level, which is a little, high over here that is the understory right what is it called that is called the understory now i'm going to tell you a little about the understory right and this is uh, the understory is very humid and damp as well this portion right and many plants and a variety of mosses even uh, there are grows the leeches and fun fungi they grow in this layer here, right? And then insects are mostly likely found in this layer as well, because there are like little seasonal changes around the world, around the uh, uh, forest. So you can even uh, see the insects over here. So animal and, and insects like uh, beetles, even uh, snakes, they, they are even over here, like iguanas, uh, we can find over here. And we can find uh, another animal that is called ocelot. And that, that is like uh, a kind of, uh, tiger we can see so on this uh layer uh, what we can find i'm going to show you the animals what kind of animals do we find over here wow now the iguanas are found over here right not high now the, on on on, the, on this layer the floor we, we have anacondas and a little high we have iguanas can you see this iguana Yes, we have iguanas over here, and then we have uh, ocelots over here. I'm going to show you uh, another uh, that is uh, that looks like a little um, um, more like jaguar, right? So I'm going. To, I'm just going to show you that. Yeah, and you can see that how well he can blend himself over here. Right, he can be on the ground and he can reach up to the uh, trees over here. He can jump over here, so you can see it's very difficult to see and to find him. So he can very well blend himself into the forest, right? So we can see it over here, and uh, then we have uh, another uh, animal over here. I'm just going to show you, and that is a. Uh, Hide a monkey, right? Now, have a look at this. Now, the spider monkeys are on the second layer of here, right? They are on this second layer over here. So, we have got iguanas, we have got jaguars, ocelots, and we have got spider monkeys over here, right? So, this is the uh, second layer, right? So, uh, we're going to come up on to the uh, third layer. Um, and to tell you that is the little high over here, and that is a canopy layer, right? Over here, where are we can see the trees up here, so that is called a canopy layer, yes. That is called the canopy layer. So um, 60 to 90% of living species reside in the canopy layer. Like most of them are in this canopy layer. And canopy is the warmest layer during the daytime. So this is the very hottest. So animals adapt by making a loud calls and sounds to communicate over here. So that's why they have got howling monkeys over here. So animal, yes, there is toucans, there are even lizards, uh, the monkeys, um, I'm going to just show you. And there are like monkeys, like howling monkeys are over here, 
right? Because they make loud calls to uh, and sounds to communicate. So I'm just going to show you uh, the um, howling monkey, right? I'm just going to share with you the howling monkey picture right now. Okay, so where is my howling monkey? Yeah, they're here. Now look at them. See, they're over here and the canopy there, and it's very warm and hot over there. So they make sounds to communicate with each other. See, they are howling. They're taking out sounds to communicate over here. And then there's another um, animal, which I can show you, yes. This is also found, oh wow, this is so colorful. That is also found over here. Tukan is also found over here, right? Yes, see? So howling monkeys and tukans are found over here. And then it is, we reach to the top layer over here, right? So when we reach on the top layer over here, uh, what we can see and what we can find over here. Now I'm going to show you that as well, right? Now over here, uh, first of all, I'm going to um, tell you about the layer. That is the emergent layer, right? The top is the emergent layer. On top of the canopy layer, the, this is called the emergent layer, yes. So the trees receive the direct, direct heat from the sun in the emergent uh, layer. The plants and animals adapt to bright sun rays and strong winds and rain. So the trees branches are thin over here and cannot support very heavy animals over here. So that's why they are on the canopy layer. Most of the animals are, uh, the heavy animals are over here on the uh, canopy layer. So animals are small and usually if they can fly or glide. So there is a squirrel monkey even, which is on the top over here on the very thin uh, uh, stems, and, uh, sorry, uh, or very thin branches over here. Um, so uh, they've got like uh, even birds over here, like eagle, I'm going to show you eagle and hummingbird, which is a very small bird that is on the top layer that we call the emergent layer, right? So animals and ins uh, insects, including like birds and small monkeys, they are at the top over here, right? So I'm going to show you what kind of uh, animals uh, we find on the top. So first of all, uh, we have um, these small squirrel monkeys. See, they're very small. They don't need very uh, thick. Uh, branches to sit on. They're very small. They can jump like squirrels. They're lightweight. So they can be on the top over here, right? And then um, we have uh, something, something I'm just going to share with you. Where am I? Hold on. So I'm going to show you my different chair. Yes, I'm good. yeah, look at this. Now this animal is at the top over here and this is called Harpy Eagle. Isn't it so amazing? So look at him, looks like some uncle is watching us angrily. So this is the Harpy Eagle, which is on the top emerging as layer of the rainforest, right? And that looks so scary. So uh, then another, uh, there, where is my hummingbird? Yeah, okay, 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 yes. I'm going to share with you my hummingbird and that is over here. I hope you can you see this because that is on the other uh, window. Uh, hold on. Let me see if I can find that as well over here. Yeah, over here. See? No, no, this is the harpy eagle and yeah, this is the hummingbird. See, this is a very small bird, very small bird, which is on the top of the layer of the rainforest. So see, there are like some animals which are at the floor level. Then there are some 
over uh, they are on the uh, second level they are the next one on the canopy layer and the third are at the emergent layer the branches are very thin so they are very small kind of animals which can easily sit on the uh, thin branches they can make their nest over here so harpy eagle as you see and this hummingbird hummingbird is very little it has got a like very small little birdie and then this harpy eagle also this makes his nest at the top of the trees over there right so that is so amazing uh, what we have discussed today about rainforests. Um, I've showed you the picture over here. We have seen the video as well. So, and we have discussed the animals. So, so, um, uh, and they are like very deadly and killer animals. Uh, there are the, of the rainforests, right? So, um, I have um, uh, shown you the rainforest, that tour to the rainforest, and I hope you have liked it and you've understood the rainforests and the layers and the animals over there. They are all very different kind of animals, and they live in the layers uh, of uh, the jungle. So that is very amazing that they have got like layers uh, of the uh, jungle, and they are like uh, they are even like. Uh, couple of more uh, um, uh, animals there are insects because there are many uh, in rainforests because the climate is very 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 conducive very good for those animals to live over there so that's that's very good um, there are like many many other animals which you can see um, uh, which you can just have a look at search on the um, internet and see what kind different kind of animals you can see what different kind of layers are in the rainforest and that is very very amazing and you can make a list of the animals which you can find in the rainforest okay so this was our science class today and i'm going to say goodbye from this class now and we'll see each other soon inshallah in the next class till then stay safe be happy and be grateful for whatever you have so we'll see each other soon inshallah till then bye bye and allah face hey